Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo. We're gonna talk about the most interesting cruise line that hasn't even officially sailed yet. It has two ships on order and one that's already out, however, has had no passengers. That's Virgin Voyages. What does, this have, what does this ship have in store for its passengers when it starts sailing? Hopefully somewhat soon. We're gonna be telling you everything you need to know about Virgin Voyages and the Scarlet Lady coming right up. Richard Branson is taking on the high seas with Virgin Voyages. Designed unlike any other cruise ship, yeah. this cruise will be like no other. The Scarlet Lady is a 912 foot long cruise ship that can carry 200, or sorry, 2,770 passengers and 1,150 crew. Its home port is set to be Miami with traveling to the Caribbean. Something we don't see too often in the cruise industry is also a minimum age. Virgin Voyages are catering to adults, so you'll need to be a minimum of 18 years old to sail. And if you are between 18 and 20 years old, you do need to be sailing with someone who is over 21. Yeah, not often you see that in our cruise ship. No. <laughs> Today we're gonna go over the food, the drinks, entertainment, wellness options, and cabins, so you'll know everything you need to know before booking and sailing. And now a quick word from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. So, on to food. <laughs> Virgin is really breaking the mold with their dining. There's no main dining room, there's no set dining times, and there's no dress code or buffet. <laughs> no buffet. <laughs> Although I guess they're gonna make up for that because something that I do love is all the restaurants are included in their cruise fares, so there's no upcharge to dine at any of the restaurants. Which is a huge surprise for a lot of cruise lines mm -hmm. like to put that in there. Also included is soda, bottled water, sparkling water, juice, drip coffee, and tea. There is no shortage of dining options on board with over 20 restaurants to enjoy. We're gonna go over some of the main ones, as there's so many. We would have to really sit down and discuss which ones we really want to go on uh, because there are so many of them. Yeah, we won't be able to get to enjoy all 20. No, exactly. The Wake is the steakhouse on board. Like the name would suggest, it's at the back of the ship and it's got these large windows that provide a great view of the wake that the ship's making. Here you, can here you can expect to have filet mignon, New Zealand lamb chops, roasted salmon, and much more. The wake will also be open for breakfast and lunch, and this is the largest restaurant on board, so I'm sure they anticipate it to be pretty popular. Usually the steakhouse is, is really popular on most cruise lines. Penca Gave is an upscale Mexican restaurant and the menu is meant for family style dining. And I love family style dining as it really has a homely feel and you get to try so many different things. On the menu there's pato, roasted duck, enchilada de polo, guacamole, and more. Razzle Dazzle is definitely one of the restaurants I want to be checking out. There are two sides of the menu called Naughty and Nice. I know which side I will be eating from. <laughs> One side is geared towards healthier plant-based options and the other side you can get meats, sweets, and treats. They have everything from roasted cauliflower to fried chicken and loaded cookies. Uh, yes, please sign me up for a loaded cookie. What is a loaded cookie? I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I want it. This restaurant definitely sounds like a lot of fun and different than anything you'd usually get. At brunch, there's some live entertainment as the, as the resident drag queen will also be there. It's gonna be an interesting one, I think. I think it's something different on a bunch of different ships, something new. Absolutely. The test kitchen feels like you're being in a laboratory. With beakers, lab coats, and test tubes, the menu is more of an ingredient list than a set dish. They're also gonna offer some cool experiences like cooking classes, mixology schools, coffee labs, and more. This sounds like a unique experience that you're really not gonna have on many other ships. Or anywhere. <laughs> yeah, or anywhere. <laughs> if you love Korean barbecue, you'll wanna check out Gun Bay. This is full, this is a fun experience with a flameless grill built into the tables that you cook your own meat on. Usually when we go there, we have somebody who's designated as the barbecue person and in charge of the grill, but you know, it'll be interesting with a flameless one. I've never really seen that yeah. in one. Did we mention all the food is also included? This includes ice cream from Lick Me Till Ice Cream. They have six creative artisanal flavors, plus all the regular ones. I could see this being popular, especially in the Caribbean, those uh, places where you get sundaes and, and uh, ice cream is definitely very popular in Caribbean cruises. Yeah, Not so hot. much on Alaska and other things. Yeah, on the hot afternoons you'll want one. If one of the things that you liked about buffets was that there was a lot of variety of food in one space, then you'll want to go check out the galley. 
In this food market, you'll find bakery, panini shop, burger grill, taco sack, shack, sushi bar, noodle bar, and a 24-hour American diner. It'll probably be a pretty good way to handle buffets, also having them as like little kiosks that you go to as opposed to like the traditional buffet. Yes, and no more self-serve because we're yeah. seeing that on the out anyway. Some of the other restaurants that they're going to have on board is the Sun Club Cafe with Hawaiian-inspired dishes, the Social Club Diner, which has insane milkshakes and floats. And Aaron, just so you know, I will want to be sharing one of those. The Pizza Place has fresh made-to-order pizzas, Extra Virgin, which is their Italian restaurant, and the Dock House, which will offer a fresh, casual Mediterranean dishes. I can't wait to try the pizza. I always <laughs> love the pizza. Honestly, though, looking at all these unique food options really makes me want to try one of the vo uh, Virgin Voyages. It really seems like it's all about some good eats, drinks, and relaxing with friends. So, on to the drink category. <laughs> as we mentioned earlier, included is water, both filtered and sparkling, sodas, non-pressed juice, tea, and drip coffee. Since Virgin Voyages is brand new, we don't know if it's Coke or Pepsi, and we know that many of you are very passionate about whether there's Coke or Pepsi on board. So do let us know in the comments. Do you know, I know they did some, some test cruises on this before it launched, uh, so some people have been on board unofficially. So, you know, let us know if it's uh, Coke or Pepsi. I know everybody's always very interested in that in the comments below. They are providing a great selection of beverages to stay hydrated and energized. Virgin has recruited some established mixologists to create a spectacular beverage program. They're also highlighting that they create drinks to suit all budgets, which is nice. So for, uh, for example, you can get a beer, like a Heineken or an Amstel Light, for five to six dollars. A basic cocktail costs around nine dollars, and most half of their, and almost half of their wines are by the glass and under ten dollars. This is nice as well because the tip's built into the cost of the drink, so you don't have to worry about bringing cash with you, which is something not all cruise lines will do. Virgin offers something else that's unique for the drink package. If you like to be able to pay before you sail, the prepaid bar tab might be something for you. If you buy a $300 prepaid bar tab, they'll give you an extra $100 to spend at the bar on board. You can use it while on board to buy any premium beverage. What's kind of nice about this is you can buy one for anyone. So you could prepay one and share the rest between the two people or multiple people. I like that because some of the cruise lines with the drink packages, you both have to pay for it mm -hmm. and it's just not worth it. So to already have their drinks at a reasonable price, but if you're going to buy 300, they'll give you an extra hundred is a, is a nice option. I think for us. Yeah. And as you said, you, I could you know, like, I could get the package and then you could get a drink on that with that yeah. extra or whatever drinks. Right. Yeah. yeah. There seem to be some cool, unique bars also that we want to check out. The Loose Cannon is, Cannon is inspired by the seaside bars in the UK, and you might be able to catch a sea shanty while you're there. Which are oh so popular these days, sea shanties. On the Rocks is a mixology bar that offers a variety of age spirits. Sip Lounge does everything champagne and caviar. They even have an afternoon tea, so you know I will be checking that out. We're big fans of the afternoon tea. Uh, Drought House is where you can go for beers on tap and on t uh, artisanal bottles. If you are a coffee lover, then you'll be sure to check out Grounds Club. And there's just so many unique beverage and dining options on board. However, many of them, there's some others that are just pool bars to the Italian restaurants. So there's definitely a lot of options to enjoy on this unique ship. Yeah, that was just some of the main ones that really sort of stood out as being different. But there are just so many there. So mm -hmm. another area that we always enjoy is entertainment. Entertainment, uh, you know, keeping up with everything that Virgin is doing different. Entertainment is going to be like no other experience on the ship. The Manor, which is named after Richard Branson's first recording studio, is a two-story, three-bar nightclub. It's a lot of bars and a lot of stories. <laughs> uh, the evening will start with a Virgin exclusive show and then turn into goodbye early morning workout nightclub. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I guess it's dancing and then exercise. I, I don't know. But it, I'm sure it's going to be incredibly interesting and something that will be very unique. The Aquatic Club is their main pool area with loungers, day beds, a small pool to relax in. We were actually a little surprised at how small the pool is considering it's a Caribbean cruise or it's geared for a Caribbean cruise. This is more about the sun and relaxing than swimming with water slides because, well, you've got two pools and there are no water slides, but you know. Yeah. 
The Red Room is an innovative, multi-form theater at sea. Here you can catch an intimate show or join in on a dance party. If you aren't into dancing, there are private, there's private karaoke at the Groupie. You can book a private room, bring some friends, and have a song battle. If, if music is your scene, then you'll want to check out Voyage Vinyl. This is an onboard record shop with music magazines, headphones, reco- record players, and listening stations. So far, the casino seems like the only typical thing, cruise activity that they have on board. There are over 115 slot machines, table games, and on port days, you can get casino game lessons. Aaron, I know you'll be excited to know that there's an arcade on board that focuses on vintage games like Pac-Man, racing, air hockey, foosball, table, and more. So be ready to go down at foosball. I'm totally taking you on. Well, after a long day of being beat at air hockey, uh, you may want to relax. So in addition to re-envisioning the nightlife and entertainment, Virgin Voyages is also taking on the cruise spa and fitness programs. This is something that I'm really interested in checking out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, these are so important and there's so many, so many more people using them these days. You, you, you'll really notice. B Complex is all about build and balance. They have a variety of weights, a yoga studio and free fitness classes. In the B Complex, you'll also find bike and burn. There's a huge selection of state of the art running machines, rowers and the spin studio. I really like that they have huge windows to enjoy the views while working out. And if you if you would prefer, there is an outdoor jogging track. I really like having the big windows. We were training for a half marathon and we're spending hours on, on the treadmill inside of a room just staring at a wall, which is not much fun. So when you have a nice picture of the outdoors, at least you can sort of enjoy it while you're working out. In the athletic club, something else I have never seen on a cruise ship before is a boxing ring. Here you can also find a basketball court, adult seesaw, 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 which I have not thought about adult You're, seesaws in a long time. You don't time. even want to say it. Your oh. brain couldn't process that. I don't know how that's going to work. But hey, you got adult seesaws. And a day bed, which is where I'll more be, that wraps around the back of the ship. Also in the gym area is the well-being pool, which is great location to cool off after working out. You can also visit the healthy juice bar called the Gym and Tonic. They offer fresh pressed juices, shakes, and a full bar. So that's interesting. We do enjoy doing a hard workout and then relaxing at the pool, usually not with alcoholic beverages, but hey, to each their own. Well on vacation though. Yeah, true. If you're more interested in the relaxing side of wellness, you'll want to check out the Redemption Spa. There you can book massages or enjoy the thermal spa. The dry dock is where you can have all your hair needs met from highlights to blowouts and all the things in between, I'm sure. And for men, they have the stubble and groom, which is their onboard barber shop. In keeping with the theme of reimagining cruises, Virgin is offering another first. They'll have the first tattoo studio at sea. I don't know how much I'd want to be bobbing around in the water having a tattoo, but hey, I mean, to each their own. Yeah, as a commitment phobe myself, I will not be getting a tattoo, but I will definitely check it out. There, There is a tradition. The reason why they have this is there's a sea tradition of getting a tattoo uh, at sea. And so they have this there. To commemorate your accomplishments Accom- yeah, accomplishment. and stuff. So. I guess when you could, you know, when there was less probability of getting from point A to point B by C, you probably wanted to commemorate it. So. Yes. Following in that tradition, there's a tattoo parlor. <laughs> So on to our last section, the cabins. With the use of technology, the cabins are also a whole new experience, not only for sleep and relax, but also are environmentally friendly. All the cabins have Wi-Fi included, 24-hour room service, and technology to conserve energy. There are four types of cabins to choose from, the Insider, Sea View, Sea Terrace, and Rockstar Quarters. Standard in all the rooms, you'll find a 4K TV, mini bar, desk, and wardrobe. The bathrooms have a rain shower and most rooms have a sea bed that converts into a full size bed to, from a full size bed to a lounger. So we'll start with the insiders. These rooms can sleep one to four people. There are no windows, but it does have a sleek minimalist design that all the other cabins have. The sea view rooms are slightly larger than the inside cabins and do have a window seat to enjoy the views outside the porthole. These rooms can sleep one to three passengers. The next size up is the sea terrace. 
Here you have a balcony with a hammock to enjoy the views. I like the hammock. I love the yeah. look of these hammocks, and I would definitely enjoy the sunset relaxing the hammock. We're going to yeah. have to, like, paper, rock, scissors yeah, to see exactly, who gets yeah. the hammock or take turns. I don't know how we're going to work that out. <laughs> Whoever wins at air hockey. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and if you're looking for the ultimate experience, then you'll want to check out the Rockstar Quarters. These rooms range from 350 feet to 2,147 feet. The, the rooms are outfitted with premium amen amenities like marble-clad bathrooms, spacious terrace, and a rock star agent to help you with any of your needs. You also have access to Richard's rooftop private lounge. If anyone is booking that cabin <laughs> and they need two people to join it, just let us know. Yeah. We'd be happy to see what it's all like. Especially that 2,000 square feet one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another nice feature you don't see on many of these ships is they do have solo cabins. So there's several solo interior cabins, and they also have a solo sea view cabin where you have a window out. There are no solo balcony cabins, but if you're a solo traveler, there's lots of great options for you. So overall, Virgin is definitely re-envisioning cruising with their ships. The Scarlet Lady is the first to sail. Uh, it is going to offer a lot of new opportunities for guests at sea. Music is a theme throughout the entire ship, of course. Definitely a music lover's dream cruise. With the largest fitness and wellness areas we've seen on a ship, there are lots of opportunities to work hard and play hard. And with the rooms and the way the rooms are designed, I feel like the ship is really for socializing and experiences. Uh, and, you know, you don't really have to worry as much, I think, about where you sleep. But the rooms are beautiful. Yeah, I think like your room is there for you to relax in and enjoy. And that's why maybe they don't have as many relaxing areas as much as it is restaurants, bars, and then fitness and wellness mm -hmm. areas. Yeah, quite a lot of that. And keep in mind, it is adults only. So, you know, this could be sort of the, a good opposite of like the Disney cruise where everybody sees it as, as kids, even though there are adult areas. This is all adult areas with no kid stuff. Yes. So it's an interesting way of looking Although at I it. I do enjoy the slides. <laughs> sure, yes. At, at first, we weren't really sure about this ship, but we really do kind of want to see what it's like. I do think that there's a pretty big miss with the pools because, again, there's only two pools uh, and they're not particularly large pools. But, you know, I guess... We'll have to see. The cooking yeah. gets hot, so I usually like the pools because of that. I think we were surprised that there were only the two pools, being that it is a Caribbean cruise, but I think you just relax on the hammock in your room, or you go to a bar and get a drink, or you're in one of those entertainment spaces. I don't know. I still do like the pools, though. <laughs> so let us know in the comments below. Do you have a Virgin cruise booked? What do you think of the changes that they made? Yes. Are you going to be getting a tattoo at sea? <laughs> <laughs> Is this something that would be up your alley? I mean, I think we think it's kind of interesting. This could also be a good opportunity with COVID, given the fact that kids are not able to get the vaccine yet. This could possibly be a good option for people who want to cruise because, you know, it's all adults. And depending on, obviously, what they do with vaccination rules, who knows? what they'll say but you know good opportunity for adults and you know younger a uh, younger population of cruisers to get interested in cruising uh, and to sort of make the make the industry bigger yeah that's a really good point yeah. but we and we also want to take a second to thank everybody who has been following along with yes. all of our videos and everybody who likes subscribes and comments it really means a lot to us as a smaller channel still trying to go grow so thanks very much thanks for watching and happy travels mm -hmm.